How involved are they? Um, they're really proud of me, and they always keep me motivated. And tell, I mean, we've been playing a lot of primetime games in front of a big crowd, and they always tell me just make a play, do my job. Everyone's watching, so they just motivate me to keep going, grinding. I always have positive words for me. Out of curiosity, have any of those positive words ever been, give me the darn ball? <laughs> um, no, just make a play when it presents itself. What do you see in uh, Minnesota? Have you looked at them at all yet? No, we, we're still kind of uh, celebrating our victory from this weekend and enjoying it. But um, tomorrow and today, we're coming in to get our assignment from coach. It, you're usually given 24 hours to celebrate a win, aren't you? Um, not necessarily. That was a big win, a big team win. And uh, we all came together as a team and did our job. So coach is letting us enjoy it. But we know it's right back to work tomorrow. Oh, um, when you look at the scores after you come down and you see uh, Minnesota wins 51 to 14, does that make it, I don't know, easier? Does that get your attention um, to see, wow, they, we better be ready? You know, does that help you guys at all or would it not matter no matter what they did? You guys would be focused and ready to go no matter what. I feel like we'll be focused and ready to go no matter what. But I really didn't know that they put up 50 points. I was still enjoying the victory with my team. <laughs> Hey, Mike, you said after the game that when the play came in that you knew you were going to score when the play was called in the huddle on the, on the slant route there. Do yeah. other guys have that same mentality on this team as you do? I and mean, is that a little bit of swag and confidence? And are you guys starting to develop that as an identity? Yeah, I feel like the whole room is starting to come along and develop that type of identity. The, how the game was going, it was like, uh, if you remember, Dontre had fun with a kick return. I was on the front line of KOR. I saw when it happened. I saw how he reacted when he got up, how disappointed he was. I kind of didn't want to go over there to, to like, to like tell him anything. I felt like the only way I was going to be able to prove to him, I told him I had his back next play. And then I just felt the only way I could prove to him was make a play. And then defense got that three and out and the guy missed the field goal. So I kind of felt like the next play coach was going to call was going to need it. We were going to need to get a spark on offense. So I felt like it, Coach Meyer told me to play that he was going to call, and I felt like he wasn't calling it just to get a first down. He was calling it to spark the offense. So when I caught the ball, I knew I had to do something with you, it. You felt like he was calling you know, a home run swing right there. It wasn't just to get you know, 10, 15 yards. You guys were swinging for the fence on that. Yeah, because we needed a spark on offense because everything had inflated. How much, oh, sorry. How much does it hurt your hands when you catch the ball and it's the high temperature is 26 degrees? Um, I feel like in that moment, you kind of don't feel anything. You just numb. You know you have to catch it. So, And if you drop it and it hits your hands, it's kind of embarrassing. So, Saturday in Minnesota, it's not expected to be warm, right? Um, not for sure, but I'll still catch the ball. What did that play keep working for you? Um, I think it's just coaching, technique, and being physical, and just having a plan before the play comes. With my alignment, like where I lined up, where I split, using my hands, and just having the will to run out there and catch just, I feel like, helps me a lot. Can you tell it all by the way the DB is lining up, that you're going to beat him on that, that you're going to get inside him and get the position to make that play? Um, during the week, I watched a lot of film on him. Um, and I knew that if I just did my job, me versus him, I was going to get it done. So I felt like I was going to win any time a play was called to come to me. That's three this year, right? Um, maybe, I think so. Is it basically, I mean, is it basically the same play um, every time, or is there little wrinkles to it? Um, it's pretty similar, but it's man to man who wants, I feel like it comes down to if he could guard me, if he covers me, and I felt like he couldn't guard me, so I felt like I just had to do my job and I was gonna get open. Michael, can you see, as you make that cut on that slant, can you see the safety Stepping has made the wrong move. You understand what I mean? He, the safety went for the inside guy instead of staying back for you and stuff. Can you see all of that as it's happening? I think the way the play was set up was for the safety to get, to cover Jalen in the slot, and then it was one on one with me in the corner, and then he would have to fall off. But I yeah. knew once I caught it and I broke the tackle, then I was going to score. Cause but I can see when, when all that's happening in your mind, are, are you getting excited or are you just totally focused on what's, you know what I mean, what's going on? I mean, I, um, I, 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 what's the thought process when those kind of things kind of click? Um, the thought process was first win the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Once I won that, catch the ball, and then after that, score.
You talked about wanting to sort of have Dontre's back after yeah. that fumble. What do you guys have to do now with Dontre out to try to uh, make up for that? We just have to step up. Coach always says, like, when one person goes down, for instance, Braxton, someone else has to pick up the rifle. So we just had to step up. Do you, do you feel, is your personality different than the other guys who are from the Midwest or Ohio because you're from California, you grew up, grew up out there, do you have a little bit more swag to you than they do? Um, no, a lot of guys, they have swag. I feel like I'm more just like straightforward. I'll tell it how it is. And I feel like just, just not playing last year, I'm still playing catch up, so I still have a lot to prove. Did Dontre tell you that he hurt his foot? Did you guys know during the game? Um, not really. Dontre supposedly heard it on some play where it wasn't even noticeable, and then he still played and he still made cru crucial. He still made that touchdown in the back of the end zone when we needed him. So I really couldn't tell. When I heard the news, it was pretty, it like hurt me. Michael, you, you're playing with you're playing with a quarterback right now who's like four touchdown passes away from the school record for a single season and stuff. Where have you seen JT really make improvements over the last seven, eight weeks? Where, what's just jumped out at you about him? I feel like he's getting more confidence in us. He's trusting us more to make these plays now. He's more patient in the pocket now. He's sitting back there. He's making his reads and he's letting it go. Like he's not worried about sitting back there then trying to scramble. He's trusting in us. And I feel like it goes both ways. We have to make those plays early on in the season for him to trust in us to make those plays in big games. I was going to say, he seems to get the ball to you especially, though. <laughs> yeah. On the lean, I mean, out front, I mean, where you can make something happen and stuff. Is it, Do you guys work on that a lot individually, or is that just uh, the accuracy that he's got? Yeah, he has great accuracy. Uh, just, I feel like I tell him, if he just don't get sacked, bro, if you got to come to me, come to me. So that's what he does. Do you expect teams to adjust to that slam with you now, seeing how many times you've burned defenses with it? I mean, if you go man to man, I'm going to still have to win. So I don't know how they're going to adjust to it. So any, any part of you that's surprised at what JT has done? You know, when, when Braxton went down around here, the sky was falling. But in the back of your mind, yep. did you almost think that this sort of season was he was capable of this? Um, yeah, I actually did think he was capable of this. It's just like, it's Ohio State. I mean, you see how many playmakers we have on the field. People are making plays all over the place. It's kind of like the next man up, and he's a mature dude, and he took his job real serious. So I felt I had a lot of confidence in him. Speaking of next man up, last question. The, when you're in the weight room at 5 a.m. in the winter and that kind of thing, doing all the workouts you guys do, Yeah. It's like breaking a tackle on a play like that. Is that what it's for? You know, like, you know, it's nice to be strong, I guess, right? But you gotta, it has to be functional, right? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it, a lot of it, a lot of success has to do with our training. And also, just like, I mean, coach, it was a lot of time still left in the game after that fumble. People kind of got down, but we still had to make plays and we still had to keep fighting. So I felt like a good statement would be let them know that I'm here to play. Let them know I had their back, so I had to make a, I had to make a play, you know? How much of a blow for you guys receiver-wise is Last losing question. Dontre with uh, the injury that he's got? It's a, it's a big blow, you know, but we won't, we won't harp on it too much. Other guys just have to step up and they'll be held accountable.